All right, so what you're gonna wanna do first is you got your bottom drop panel here underneath the steering wheel. And you can see there's a screw hole here, there. I have one underneath my sub control and another one up here. And that, you're gonna need a seven millimeter for it. I'm gonna that driver here. All right, so if you did it right, and it's kind of hard to do it wrong. Uh, that bottom drop panel should just put that on the seat there. Get hold of it. Should just pop down like this. Now you're not pulling it right off. You're just going to want this space right here because you can see that screw. And you got another one over here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there it is. Get another one right there, and you have a third screw up here. Now you're going to have to pull all three of those out, and then the bezel should just pop right off. Alright, so I'm going to take this time to point out the difference in screws. The longer screw on the left here is for the bottom panel. The shorter screw is for the actual bezel. Don't get them mixed up. It won't work out too well. And like I said, all three screws gone. Now is the easy part. Just one side. Here's the other side. Okay, so the trick to getting the bezel out, is you're gonna to wanna to take out the, uh, the rear wiper controls, and there's two clips underneath, and you're gonna to wanna to get in behind with your two fingers, push down on them, and it just pops out like so. Nice and easy. Take your flat screwdriver, which I'm stepping on. Push right here. Nice and easy. Electronic 4x4 controls. Uh, the last time I had my bezel apart, I uh, must have broke one of the clips because the top one's gone. But there's just one on the bottom and the top. This one's missing. But you can see, here, I'll show you once I get this unplugged. Same deal, you probably need a flat screwdriver for these. These controls are a little bit more of a pain in the ass. Now this top plug comes out nice and easy. And there's one just below it, but the top one is just a clip that you push right here and pull. I'm going to need two hands for that. But this one is the same style and you can't really get a screwdriver in that easily. There. So once you get the bezel off, you're fine now. You got access to your speedometer, the screws that hold in your radio, your air conditioning controls, back of your fuse box even. And these things get pretty dusty. Now to pull out the speedometer, you can see there's a screw here, screw here, screw hiding down here, and same thing down here. And the harness plugs in just on the top here. So 
so we're gonna pull that out and I'll show you how to take the lights out. All right, I got the four screws out. The neighbors are thinking I'm gonna go. Ah, the neighbors are gonna think I'm going nuts because it looks like I'm talking to myself here. Just lift it out. There's the cluster. Unplug the wiring harness. A little bit of finesse work right there because you don't want to be replacing your gauge cluster. There it is. You flip it around. So can you see those? You'll have these little gray things in here. And these are all the sockets for the lights. And to pull them out, I'm gonna pull them out. It's pretty easy. I have to remember if I'm turning counterclockwise or clockwise. Counterclockwise. There's one bulb. This one's still good. Alright. So if you had a light that went out on this, let's say there's four clips right here. Squeeze and pull. There's your wiring harness. Ignore this. This is for my XM satellite radio. Um, you have your four bulbs. Comes out the same way as the gauge cluster. But I'm not replacing anything in here. So we're good to go. So I got some shopping to go do for a new 194. Be able to put that back in. Reassembly is simple, just do everything backwards.